aerial drones are being integrated into society more and more, likely the next big step for commercial farming. Flying tractors, yes, not exactly. Good afternoon. So we have our uh, P100 Pros here, of course, uh, ready to go. Uh, you know, we kind of stage it here. This would be how we would run in the field, typically. Everyone has to be a participant of the sport today. You're classified on that. And then down, we have participants. Does everybody see the P100 Pro at the conference? And uh, obviously, we've got set up. We've loaded it with guys. We have Mark here. Mark, raise your hand. Oh yeah, Mark. Mark's doing uh, some spray testing here, some swap testing. And while the wind is going to fall, we're going to go ahead and do a test. So we're going to go ahead and show that. Our operational range. Incredible. With your naked eye, it's hard to tell what your actual finds are on these things. We get, yeah. need to get a field glass out here and look a lot closer. Um, but uh, as far as DRAs, there's two things just in general I'd always say. Once you've made the droplet size that you want, which is relatively easy with a rotary atomizer. Everybody ready? Okay. We put all the tickets in the tank. We've got a little assistant here that's going to help us today. Number is that's it. two 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 four seven eight seven. I have a Deb Fortner. Deb Fortner. Deb Fortner. Very good. Come on in. We'll get. Let's get a picture. Come on in if you want to come in. So thanks for everybody for, for playing. We're very glad. Congratulations. Yeah.